Granville Stewart is revered as a pioneer and hero of Montana, having been a frontiersman miner landowner in Montana, author, and the commander of the vigilante gang known as Stewart's Stranglers. Granville was born on August 27, 1834, near what is now Clarksburg, West Virginia, to Robert and Nancy Current Stewart. The family relocated to Muscatine County, Iowa, in 1838. During his childhood, Granville interacted with Native Americans and received his education in a one-room schoolhouse. In 1849, his father joined the California Gold Rush along with thousands of others hoping to strike it rich. Two years later, Granville and his brothers James and Robert joined him, and they spent several years prospecting. In June 1857, Granville and James planned to return to Iowa for a visit. However, when they encountered the trail blocked by the Mormon War in Utah, they opted to head north instead, eventually reaching Montana. In 1858, while prospecting for gold in Deer Lodge Valley, they were acknowledged as the pioneers to make it big in Gold Creek. However, lacking supplies and worried about potential Indian attacks, they left the area shortly after. Four years later, they came back, leading to the establishment of a small mining camp at the mouth of the creek, now known as Gold Creek. Over the following years, the brothers continued prospecting along Gold Creek while also engaging in trade as merchants. During this time, they wrote to their third brother, Robert, who was prospecting in Colorado. News of their discovery spread rapidly, drawing prospectors from Colorado and neighboring territories to Montana. Granville wed Oboni, a later name for Ellen, a Snake Indian in the spring of 1862. They would eventually have nine children before her passing in 1887. Meanwhile, the budding settlement of Gold Creek expanded, with Granville being elected county commissioner and James becoming sheriff. Although they were credited with the initial significant gold discovery, the Stewart brothers didn't see much financial gain from it. By 1863, Granville had moved to Virginia City and ventured into the mercantile trade. Meanwhile, James Stewart was exploring Yellowstone in search of gold. In 1865, Granville sold his business and went back to Deer Lodge, where he set up another mercantile store and later a lumberyard. James also resided in Deer Lodge until 1870 when he took on the role of a physician at the Fort Peck Agency. Up until his cancer-related death on September 30, 1873, he stayed there. In the same year, Granville sold his mercantile business and returned to mining. However, once again, mining didn't prove profitable for Granville, and by 1876, he was employed as a bookkeeper at Samuel T. Hauser's First National Bank in Helena. The Hauser, Davis, Stewart Cattle Company and the DHS Ranch were founded by Stewart Hauser and mining magnates, Andrew J. and Irwin Davis, three years later, in 1879. Stewart assumed the role of general manager, a position he held until the spring of 1887. While overseeing the cattle company, Stewart organized the Montana Stock Growers Association in 1884 and served as its inaugural president. During this period, cattle theft was rampant in the territory. In 1884, Granville allegedly put together Stewart Stranglers, a gang of vigilantes, to help put an end to the chaos. In a short time, numerous Montana outlaws either met their demise hanging from trees or from a barrage of bullets. The Montana vigilantes also emerged around this time, though it remains uncertain whether Stewart was involved with the original vigilante group, although they likely influenced the formation of Stewart's Stranglers. Nevertheless, leading the highly lucrative DHS Cattle Company, the enterprise boasted a value exceeding a million dollars by 1885. However, just two years later, Granville exited the cattle industry, although he retained the presidency of the Board of Stock Commissioners until 1891. Shifting his focus to politics, Granville assumed the role of state land agent responsible for overseeing 600,000 acres allocated to Montana by the federal government for educational purposes in 1891. In that same year, he entered into a second marriage with a woman named Isabel Alice Brown. In 1894, he assumed the role of U.S. Ambassador to Uruguay and Paraguay, holding the position until 1898. In his later years, he served as the librarian of the Butte Public Library. Throughout his life, Stewart was deeply involved in preserving Montana's history. He served as the inaugural secretary of the Montana Historical Society and held its presidency from 1890 to 1895. Additionally, he was the president of the Society of Montana Pioneers from 1886 to 1887. During his final years, he dedicated himself to documenting the history of Montana territory, 
1864 to 1889, although he passed away before completing this endeavor. Granville Stewart passed away on October 2, 1918, in Missoula, Montana. However, the majority of his work was eventually published under the title 40 Years on the Frontier in 1925. Granville Stewart is frequently referred to as Mr. Montana in recognition of his efforts, a nod to the way his life mirrored the early Montana Territory.